Okay, so let's solve this problem. So solving system of nonlinear equations using the substitution method. Now, in substitution method, we need to isolate one variable. So you can isolate x or isolate y. So it depends on the given. So on this given, we're going to use this equation to isolate one variable. So we're going to isolate y. So transpose this x on the right side. So that becomes positive x. So y now is equal to x plus 2. Then substitute this equation to the first equation. So we have this x squared plus y squared. But y is x plus 2. So this one now x plus 2 squared, that's equal to 10. Then uh, simplify this equation. So we can solve this one using this SMS. So the square multiply and square. So the square of x, that's x squared. Then multiply 2 times 2, that's 4 times x. That's 4x. Then the square of positive 2, that's positive 4, then equals 10. Then simplify, so combine like terms, so x squared plus x squared, that's 2x squared, then transpose this 10 to the left, that becomes negative 10, then that's equal to 0. Then I simplify this 4 minus 10, that's negative 6 equals 0. So this one is a quadratic equation, but we can reduce this equation because we have this uh, common, so 2, 4, and 6. So those numbers are divisible by 2. So reduce. So divide this one by 2. Divide by 2. And divide by 2. So we have now x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals 0. So we can solve this quadratic equation now using this factoring. So factor of x squared, that's x times x. And factors of 3, that's 3 times 1. So for us to know which of this number is positive and negative, so we're going to use this pyramid multiplication. So 3 times x, this one is 3x. And x times uh, 1, this one is x. Now take note that the middle term is positive 2x. So to have a sum of positive 2x, so this x is negative because 3x minus x, that one is positive 2x. So therefore, 3 is positive and 1 is negative. Then equate this factor to 0. So we have x plus 3 equals 0. Then transpose to solve for x. So x is negative 3. And the other one, x minus 1 equals 0. Transpose to solve for x. So x now is positive 1. So these are the values of x, negative 3 and positive 1. Then to solve for y, so substitute this value from this equation y equals x plus 2 then substitute now your x that's negative 3 so negative 3 plus 2 so y now is negative 1 and the other one x equals 1 so from y equals x plus 2 then substitute so we have now 1 plus 2 so y now is positive 3 so the solution now on the system so if x is negative 3 y is negative 1 and if x is positive 1, y is positive 3.